Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for this video, I feel like this is something I've been feeling called towards since I started vlogging my entrepreneur life. And I want to talk about it fully in this video because it's something that is a kind of an issue in society anyway, but also something that I'm processing right now. And I feel like these kind of conversations when I'm mid processing helps not only you, but also helps me. So the idea of perfection, not just in terms of like personality and the way we behave and stuff, but also image and success and just everything in life. But for me, the thing that's been triggered the most is definitely image because of the fact that I started vlogging my days and obviously when you vlog and things you see yourself from so many angles that you never used to see before so it's made me kind of analyse myself but also compare myself a lot to other people and stuff so I want to talk about this idea of needing to be perfect because at the end of the day when I'm sitting here filming these videos, especially now because I've got my lights up and I'm in um, I'm in a specific location where I can light it up fully, like when I'm in my car it's just the sunlight. So in the most recent videos it went really dark because I'm in the UK and the lighting's just terrible, like the sunlight is not very bright in the winter. So when I'm in this kind of location and I get to light it up with my lights and everything and I get to put my camera at the specific angle that I want it because I know my angles and I know where I prefer it to be and I get to do full face of makeup and like have my hair how I want it and I can just literally stop this video right now, go move my hair to a, like if I didn't like something I could just adjust it and then start filming again and I can just edit them together and you wouldn't even know that it was... 10 minutes apart or something so like there's just so much that you can do when you film videos like this and I feel like so many people watch these videos not just mine but everybody on YouTube they watch people and they f they compare like they feel like they're not good enough or not perfect enough or not anything enough not successful enough and all of that kind of stuff but you don't realize that this is strategically created this way, like I've strategically chosen my angle, I've strategically chosen my makeup look and my lighting and like everything about this, even the background, you know, I've strategically chosen everything about this video to make it look as good as it can possibly look. And then when it comes to vlogs, it's not really possible like I can choose certain things yeah and I can choose things not to show if I don't like them like I can remove them from my video when I edit it but because it's it's like your daily life I'm not going to be wearing makeup 24 7 like I'm not going to be wearing the perfect outfit 24 7 or having the lighting like I don't even put the lights up even when I'm in the dark you know so the lighting shit the angles are shit there's no makeup there's no there's no nothing so it kind of brought out all of my insecurities and fears and then also made me realize just how strategically put together everybody's videos, everybody's Instagram feeds, everybody's everything that they ever post anywhere is their highlight reel, like it's put together for a specific reason to show the best of that person. So when we're comparing ourselves, we're comparing to a highlight reel and we're comparing to the perfect version of people because even in the vlogs you're obviously not seeing every single moment of my day like you're seeing the moments that I choose to show you know so I just realized that you'll never fully know anyone one thing but then also that that person will never ever be perfect and will never be the perfect image even if you perceive them to be that way they will never actually be that way because you're only seeing what they choose to show you know so we can look at all of these celebrities even like the 
big names that aren't YouTubers or whatever, but they're just celebrities, you can look at them and like look at their Instagram and stuff and perceive them as perfection or flawless or just beautiful, you know, like we obviously are aware that everyone has flaws, but you can still think someone's beautiful, but you may be perceiving that beauty from an edited image or a manipulated photo you know like you're perceiving it from what they have chosen to show you and we're all obviously going to choose the best thing so they probably got like a hundred photos that day and they only choose to post one because they've chosen the one that they think is the absolute best out of all of them do you know what I mean so I just think the expectation and the standard is insane <laughs> to where we have to live up to and strive for something that's not really possible and that's not even real because if you saw them walking down the street you're not going to see them from that one angle you're going to see the whole 360 you're going to see it all and it's going to be unedited as well and the lighting won't be perfect their skin might not be perfect because maybe they're having a stressful time maybe like they're on their period maybe like anything you feel me so they just might not look as perfect as their video because of the fact that we're human and our bodies change and fluctuate and our skin flares up and goes back down and all of these kind of things so i just felt the need to come on here and talk about this because it's been um like a process that i've had to work through to be able to post my vlogs and i've only posted one at the time of me filming this video and i know that the next few are a little bit terrifying purely because i'm like I don't know how to put this in words, it makes me feel vulnerable, but purely because I'm not looking like the standard of beauty, like that's basically what it is, so it makes me feel a little bit anxious and scared and because it's not the perfect angle or the perfect light and all of this stuff and it's just a little bit terrifying because we know that we're in a world where people are mean and rude and unnecessarily spiteful, so... I don't know, I think the more of us that just let go of the need to be perfect and let go of the need to just be something or create a mask 24-7 when you can never be that and we just flow into ourselves and ugh, accept all angles is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but also if we can accept that about ourselves but also accept that about other people and the fact that they're not going to be perfect 24 7 that they're going to be flawed and that we can't actually physically expect them to be perfect 24 7 because it's not possible you know so no more comparing ourselves because it's not even real half the time it's just one angle there's many many more angles to see people at so I hope this video was helpful and made sense thank you so much for listening on the podcast apps and watching on YouTube I really appreciate you don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music my phone number my social media my merch and everything else about me and also don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload four times a week and I will see you in the next episode you can also get piece of my crystal healing jewellery I have quite a few different items up on my store now and this is one of my new necklaces really really excited so the link to my Etsy store will be in the description box below as well if you want to check that out and I will see you in the next episode bye you could say I love you I can't get enough but I just want you to myself Need you when you touch me I just want you to myself